the nearly perfect preservation of the sharp tooth fossil gives scientists a good chance to discover where it fits in the ichthyosaur evolutionary timeline. But the discovery is only the beginning. The process next continues in the lab. So now that we have this ichthyosaur here in the field museum, it's not entirely prepared yet. And it's a large specimen. We have uh, 10 to 12 meters of body length. So it takes a lot of time to prepare it. The fossils of dinosaurs and other ancient creatures in museums did not begin their journey as pristine bones ready to be assembled like Legos. At Chicago's Field Museum, experts remove the bones of the sharp-toothed ichthyosaur from the solid rock tomb that encased them for over 240 million years. There are several challenges on this ichthyosaur project. Number one is the size. It, it's big, so it's really time-consuming to do. Akiko Shinya is a fossil preparator at the museum. It's her task to carefully help reconstruct the ichthyosaur from what looks like a pile of rubble. The ichthyosaur is encased in many pieces of solid rock. Its reconstruction becomes a prehistoric jigsaw puzzle. And carving bone out of rock is extremely delicate and time-consuming work. Most of the tools we use are um hand tools like these ones. So essentially, it's like a miniature jackhammer that you see on the road construction. So this one, this part, goes back and forth in piston, and it just knocks the, uh, the uh, rock away from the fossil. And hopefully, there is a good separation between the rock and the fossil that just chips it right off. I need to work on this part. Nadia and York told me that this part is quite important. They want to know how the bones are connected to bone. Akiko's first task is to find the cranial sutures, which are the connection points between the different pieces of the skull. But 240 million years can blur the line between fossil and rock. Some parts of the ichthyosaur are very similar color. Rock itself is uh, um, somewhat gray and then maybe a little bit darker, maybe a little bit lighter, um, has it contains lots of shells um, because the ichthyosaur was in the marine um, environment, so it has like a lot of shells and snails and those clam bones, and they are very similar to ichthyosaur itself. So it's hard to differentiate, yeah. 